Good morning everyone. Welcome to this edition of Doc Trading Web Series. Today I'll be demonstrating a feature on how to set up an approval workflow when a file is being added to a SharePoint list. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to set up a list, right? So that's the first thing that you need to do. You need to give it some names like, so what I'm doing right now here for the demonstration purpose is to have a document name, right? So my objective is to add the document names and uh, the approval email is to set it is to be set up to another user. So when a new item is being added to a SharePoint list, an email, an automated email is to be sent out to the desired user, and the user has a provision to approve or reject particular workflow. So I'm just gonna demonstrate this feature. So that's the first thing that you need to have is a list. And second thing is you need to go to flow.microsoft.com, log in with your Microsoft credentials, I mean Office 365 credentials, and then you get to this page here. And then what you need to do is share, search for SharePoint approval. So you can see a lot of templates like start an approval when a new item has been added or when an item is created in SharePoint list, send approval email, right? So this is, this is what we're going to demonstrate today. So just click on that and then you get to this page, right? Okay, so this is how the workflows needs to be set up. The first thing is that when an item is being created in this site, right? So now I have a site collection called uh, meta.sharepoint.com slash slash dev, right? And I have a list called doc list. So I need to give the URL and then basically search for the desired list from, from, I mean the list name, I need to search from here and then I need to set this up, right? The second thing that you need to do is you need to set up an approval, right? So you can select an approval type, like anyone from the design list or everyone from the design list, right? Or you can enter custom values as well. Um, you can set up a title for this approval, like I've given as approval request. And um, I've assigned this to a particular email address, right? So you, you can select or you can just type down the username of the desired user, right? And then I can give some details and yeah, you don't have to change these. It's obviously linked to this item when it's created in your SharePoint list. Now the second thing is you have a condition where the response is equal to approve. So this is the condition and that's how it's gonna work. And then if it's a yes, send out an email again to the desired user saying that, okay, or the requester basically so that it says that okay, the document approval has been approved um, and you can put up a message on the body of the email and if it's a no you can again send out an email to the requester saying that okay the document approval has been rejected so once that's done you just need to upload, update the workflow and then it's good to go you can also test it if you want you can just perform a trigger action or if you have previous runs you have done earlier, you can do that as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do, I'm just gonna test this out, right? So, okay, so I'm just gonna click on new item. I'm just gonna type in something like that. I'm just gonna hit on save button. Here you go, so I've just created a new document name, right? I'm just gonna go back to my email. And here you go, I've just received an email, right? I've received an email from Microsoft Flow. So, 
if you can see, this is how the body is going to look like. So if there's an approvals, it's powered by Microsoft Flow. It says pending approval and it's requested by Joe Joseph as a user. And the details is approval request and there's a link to this list as well. The user or the approver can approve it by giving comments as well. Same thing goes with the reject. So you just can choose whatever you want and then And then I click on submit. Great, so now you've approved it. And again, what happens is the requester gets an email saying that your document approval has been approved, right? So you can get the subject as well, right? I'm just gonna create one more. Right, I'm just gonna save it. All right, now I'm just gonna go back to my email. There you go, I have the email coming in, yes. Doc SharePoint user manual, right? Now this time, I'm just gonna hit on reject. I click on submit. All right, so now I have the comments rejected over here, and then the requester gets an email saying that the document approval has been rejected. So you can create different conditions and you can set up email notifications, right? So it's a very easy way to create notifications when you have uh, created an item in your SharePoint list. This applies for your SharePoint document libraries as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a shot, just go ahead and try this out. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'm gonna come up with a lot of SharePoint tutorials, so stay tuned, have a great day.